better give Otto the good news. Uh, okay, thank you. Walkways need patching up. I really thought they just took the lift without me. This will probably have it later. There's a new quest on the hunt board. Okay. So let's just do the let's just do the, the main story until something opens up. We're seeing troops Jill. amassing at every border crossing. Well, no surprises there. Clive, you're back. Yeah, did you see the battle? Yeah. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the Royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Willudas. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waludas must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. 
it is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kukka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Tyrion, Blackthorn, and Harpocrates. Here for another of my lectures. How may I help you today? Here you are. This twin side. This is uh, this is Bahamut's place, and then this is Odin's place. Thus ends today's lesson. Oh, four of them. Sweet. Okay. We got wasp, uh, something that looks like red 13, uh, one of those assassins guys, breaker of the worlds. Urgent notice all curse breakers. This is it. This has to be the, the iron giant. This has to be the iron giant that 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 uh, was on the freaking uh, th the stage. Are you kidding me? This dude's just standing right in the middle of the goddamn road. Go! 
out of the way. too many of these guys. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. There they are. Oh my god.
Peace at last. This has to be it. I'm in the right area. Whoa! And now, bitch! Cool. 
Damn. So many points. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, was it, Toggle? <laughs> Damn, I got the extra reach. There he is. The S rank battle. <laughs> Luckily, we already know what he can actually do. So, this should be pretty easy, especially for my uh, my skill set.
God, I couldn't see freaking <sighs> my camera angle fucked me up. It really did. I had him. I had him on the ropes. You know what the funny part is? That Last time, if I didn't waste my potions when I was in limit break, I would have definitely won. I wasted too much potions. Three of 
them!
It's over. Oh. I definitely would have got him the first time if I didn't mess up on the potions. Ori Halcom. And whatever this is for. And I'm pretty sure I have enough. Back to sleep with you. Whew. Nowhere near enough. I need, I need freaking three thousand. Finally done hunting everything. Now I can finally talk to everybody about killing Titan. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Hell yeah. A bill... 800. All yours. Nice. Meteorite, high clerics, whatever that is. All done? I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kukra is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Now make me a new sword. <laughs> I know you have one. Life. What'd you want? Enhancer. It's 15 more. It'd last you a good while. Yeah. Just maybe a couple hours until I get a new one. I forgot I had that gelatinous mass. And scarlet. No scratches, right? Diamond armlets, too? Enhancer? Okay, way better. You can thank me later. Diamond Sword 2? Wait a minute. No, I have the Enhancer. Diamond Sword 2. White Worm Bone. I don't even know where that's at. That's probably like... It's, it's probably one of those... Uh, Freaking hunting missions. That it. Fine. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Ah. 
And what can I do for you? Don't need that. I need... Get anything else? Ability points. This might be worth getting for the long run. You're rubbing me blind, you know. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was cheap. Mm. Yeah, might as well. It's better I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. It's better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Finished, are you? Um, wait a minute. Is it business or pleasure? Okay, I thought I missed one. Finished, are you? Oh, not yeah. bad for a boy from the Imperial Barracks, eh? Seems like a good song. I did it. The mission's over. Kupka's dead. <laughs> it's time for a celebration. Everybody cry on my shoulder. Ah, Clive. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. Oh my, can, can, can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is, <laughs> big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. Burn! No lessons today, only Burn! And merry -making. Burn! You ain't them. have no parents! All right. <laughs> Why are you crying, you big baby? I'm crying for your parents up in heaven, A bitch. New dawn has broken. It does. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned? Anything. Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not, but until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. I wonder what Mid's doing. I haven't spoken to her You've for a while. You've barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something? Just spreading the word.
So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. You know, just when I mention her, we have to go speak to her. <laughs> Am I some sort of fucking psychic or something? Fox, I'll chill. Speaking of mid, what is she doing? What is I think she doing? mid might need some like, help. She's been down here for a long time, but I don't, don't know what she's doing. Soon. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Some old... <laughs> Displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... It's a ship. Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. Is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides. That stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Well, I can't make it nor tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Dude, what if, what if to fight Odin, I have to build that ship and then I have to ride it and shoot cannons at him or something? <laughs> That'd be sick. Instead of using uh, Phoenix to fly or Ifrit to, you know, run, jump, and pummel, I could just Use my ship. Dive. Quick look. Uh, for great justice. I think this is that one city. Uh, this is that bizarre place that I was at. Okay. Always something in there. Blackthorn. Can I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? 
She said you would know. Here. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, isn't she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. Really? Up to you who you take to the desert. I mean, Gab's good in a fight, but... He don't have my winning personality. Ah, don't listen to him. You'll be in the lowest of low company with either of us. Can I just go with Jill? <laughs> Is Jill available? <laughs> you going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Um... Shoot. So I have to pick one of them. I've only been with Gav one time, and that's when I first fought Kupka. I've never been with Otto. So... I guess we'll take Otto? Even though I really love to have Gav, I can still kick ass without Gav. Otto, you're with me. All right, then. Where do we find this stardust, and how will we know it when we see it? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. And I'm guessing you'll be needing sack loads of the stuff. Might be worth our importers and the Dalai Milin. I'll head down there. See about finding us a wagon. All right. I'll meet you by the river. You two take care, eh? I'll go and see the supplier. Just don't let the bastard fleece you, eh? Ah, he wouldn't do that. He's Blackthorn's mate. Isn't he? <laughs> Best of luck. Maybe I should have did it the other way. I'll head down to Dalimu, see about hiring us a wagon. Wait for me by the river. Don't you worry about me. I can smell a swindle from half the twins away. Best be sure, man. I don't want to have to send Otto. Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or 
It may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves. Or something we need to take more seriously. You all right, Sid? Something on your mind? There is, actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. Damn, girl. You're all alone. Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. What was this? in Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it, screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as me legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Seems Lorbert's Pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Toggle? Shall we go and investigate? You there. Fuck. He's seen us. <laughs> Get them before they yeah. escape. <laughs> You're not even fucking hiding. Black shields. I'm here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. How goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. 
One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrac. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered, and he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty, all under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quintin. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. Damn, man. Fucking Quentin went from 0 to 11. He dialed that shit so fast. <laughs> the mood just changed after his face went dark. And he went to a completely <laughs> different monologue. I'm not going to change his mind. The finest fabric! Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be transported. Gone, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? 
Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the Mother Crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? <laughs> Express yourself. Remember the good times. Focus on your work. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Focus on the job at hand. Think about what you can do right now. What use is proof in Lowe's when... Wait. Perhaps the solution has been in the bakery all along. You've opened my eyes. Thank you, friend, and fare thee well! Wait. Suppose you won't be needing an escort, then. <sighs> I, I guess. The finest fabric! Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be transported. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt! Crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> ah, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Honestly, I don't know how I did it either. I just said a bunch of shit. And... I keep getting these goblin coins, which I have no idea what they're used for.
Oh. Yes, they're quite sore. Looks like I found the river. Now where's Otto? I had two side missions. I had a to quick go to. scout about, and I reckon this area is our best bet. Seems Blackthorn's the only one who thinks smithing with his stardust stuff's a good idea. It's just lying here, waiting for any old fool to fill his boots. But unlike any old fool, you thought to bring a wagon. Well spotted. Now get filling. It's just on land. I thought we had to like sieve through the freaking river. So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. as you get enough I hope more than me <laughs> uh, put it all together and I can't see Blackthorn complaining much here Clyde do you fancy a walk oh shoot now I'm kind of wishing I brought Gav. Sid will be proud. Of what? Of you, you idiot. The way you've carried on what he started. When we first met, I had you down as a spoiled little puppy. You enjoyed nothing more than biting the hand that fed you. Five years on, you're the one doing the feeding. So thanks for proving me wrong. You weren't wrong, but I changed, thanks to Sid, and thanks to you. When I suggested taking on his name, you were the first to back me. And if you hadn't, no one else would have. I couldn't have done any of this without you, Otto. Now give over. You're making me blush. All I did was choose hope over despair. I gave you a chance, yes, but you're the one who took it. You took a rabble of homeless, hopeless outcasts and put them back on their feet. Gave them something worth fighting for, just like the old Sid did. That time I was heading back, I reckon. All this scrabbling about in the sands taken its toll on the old pins. I'll see you back at the hideaway then. You can take a well earned rest when you get there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. But I'll make sure Blackthorn gets his precious black sand before I put my feet up. He'll only moan otherwise. Right. Ready to go home, boy? 
Homeboy. <laughs> he said homeboy. Man, I wish they would just... I wish they would have just, like, transported me. Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. Nice to get out and about for once. Let's do it again sometime, eh? I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together, then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Damn, 500 and more bugs and coins. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Well, if I don't come up with something soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's her name back there? I'll give you all details. What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> right. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> Don't even know her name. Helena. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. I like her. She's very outspoken and passionate. Especially about her work. Oh, 
There you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. See, I knew there was going to be a monster over here, man. There's just a little tiny corner over here where it would fit a monster. Question is, what is it? Anybody home? That's me, guy. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. <laughs> Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Eye of the Warrior, Strength Tonic, and a Meteorite. Soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. 
Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market oh, for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Dude. Is this... <laughs> Is this gonna be like... Something game-changing? Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. Oh, man. I wanna... Oh, man. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? This is... 
This is by far the toughest one. There's... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh... Man, I hope this doesn't make... I hope, I hope this doesn't affect anything. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic? Conch shells? Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. Jill, don't be mad. See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. You need to you need to stay here anyways. You you need your rest. We're going to have a big day ahead of us. No. Where's Talia? Them nice and Need to stock up on these. There you are, Talia. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the peppy or nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Dude, Taria kind of, she kind of reminds me of Yishtola. <laughs> she does have that, like, cat people look to her. Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Ah, yes. I trust it's all here. Good day. That should do it. Hopefully Ty is finished too. Fresh cuts. Come and get them. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the bush. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. Are we gonna have a heart to heart? Bus, we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Yo, this is gonna kill me. This is killing me, Ran. I wish I could talk to both Gav and Jill too. Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Karen when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? 
I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us, all you still do, it's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring, you're appreciated too, by all of us. Don't get any ideas, Tarya. I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tome so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. God, man, this it's killing me on the inside. <laughs> what could have been? What could have been if I brought Jill with me? I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Thanks to Sid. Ah. Better late than never. We're ready to begin whenever you are. Jill? You seem distressed. Welcome home. He had a successful trip. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. Psh. Not while Jill's here! It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Nice, 500. I'm getting closer and closer, I think. I think I only need like 800 more and then I should still, I should be okay. Because I pretty much plugged in everything I had onto other skills and my limit burst. So once that's done, I could refund it. And then finally I could get judgment bolt well I better go and give Mid the good news then sorry to keep you waiting Mid 
But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, no, thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Are we all Oh, and done? bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabin. <laughs> Are we seriously all done? I, th I think we have everything. It's just we're waiting for Hippocrates, <laughs> our lore master. everyone that's one down and just three more to go are you serious i'm sorry <laughs> oh didn't i tell you the enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement oh stack for God. each you don't mean <laughs> don't worry now they've got a finished one to work off my gang in canva can build the rest good luck to them i say Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? So, how long till we... Till we get this thing up and running? I wanna start flying!